Hello my dear student. Today we are going to solve radiation and microwave techniques in some paper. In some paper is for 30 marks and last year in in some paper we are having three numericals. Two on antenna and one for rectangular waveguide. Before starting solving the numericals, thank you for subscribing my channel, sharing my videos and your valuable comments. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe before watching further video. The first question is based on Antenna unit 1. In this numerical, we have to calculate power density reaching the moon. And given data is this numerical is for 4 marks. The given data is pulse transmitted power 1 megawatt, means 1 into 10 raised to 6 watt. Then Antenna gain GT 55 dB. Distance is given. So, first we have to calculate the GT. What is a GT? Because GT is given in dB. So, for this we are, we always know the formula is GT in dB is equal to 10 log of base 10 GT. So the answer is anti log of 5.5 is equal to 0 0.3162 into 10 raised to 6. This is nothing but your GT. The radius is given. We have to convert the kilometers into meters because we are taking here normal values. And the last, the power density formula is equal to pt into gt divided by 4 pi r square. Putting the values of a pt, gt and r, we are getting the answer 0 0.15734 microwatt. To solve this numerical, the important formula is power density WD is equal to PT into GT divided by 4 pi R square. For this entire solution, the 4 marks is there. The second question is again based on antenna unit. For this question, the given data is antenna resistance 72 ohm, loss resistance 8 ohm and the question is calculate directivity in dB if power gain is 16. This question is for 5 marks. So first we have to write note down the given data that RL 8 ohm, RR 72 ohm, GP power gain 16 and we want to find out directivity. The formula for efficiency is RR divided by RR plus RL. It is a 0 0.9. Efficiency is 90%. And directivity is G divided by efficiency. It is 17.77. But the question is find out the directivity in dB. So to convert any value in dB, we know the basic formula. 10 log 10 d is equal to 10 log base 10 17.77 and answer is 12.497 db. This numerical is for 5 marks. Third question in this insem paper is based on rectangular waveguide. Rectangular waveguide is unit 3. The question is an air-filled rectangular waveguide 
of dimensions 8 into 4 cm operates in the dominant TE10 mode. First calculate cutoff frequency, then phase velocity at operating frequency of 3.5 GHz. Guide wavelength and this question is for 6 marks. So first we want to start the solution. How your waveguide is going to look? So this is a height, this is a width, it is a B, this is A. So A is a 8 cm and B is a 4 cm. We converted it into meter. So it is a 0 0.08 meter and this becomes 0 0.04 meter. Here M is a 1 because dominant mode is there and N is a 0. So the first we want to find the cutoff frequency for dominant mode. The cutoff frequency formula is Fc is equal to C divided by 2A. C is the speed of light 3 into 2, 10 raised to 8 meter per second. That's why we converted this into meter. Then A 2 into 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 because it is 0 0.08. The answer is 1.8 gigahertz. This is your cutoff frequency. Then phase velocity at 3.5 gigahertz. So phase velocity Vp is equal to C divided by under root of Fc divided by F whole square. So put the values C value 3 into 10 raised to 8, Fc 1.8 that we already calculated and the F at which operating frequency we want to calculate the phase velocity given is 3.5 gigahertz. So your answer is 2.09 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Guide wavelength. The formula is lambda 0 divided by under root of 1 minus lambda 0 divided by lambda c the whole bracket square. So we know that what is the lambda 0? c divided by fo. fo is your operating frequency 3.5 into 10 raised to 9 gigahertz. So the answer is for lambda 0 0.085 meter and lambda c is c divided by fc. So similarly it is a 0.16. So put the values in formula lambda g is equal to lambda 0 0 0.085 under root of 1 minus 0.085 divided by 0.16 square. I want that please write your answer in comments after listening this video. If you want any other solution, please post your question in comment box. And again, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe for such informat informative and interesting video. Bye. Happy learning.